Hey, what's going on, everybody? January Flowers here, your favorite home girl. And if you're hearing me, then you know it's time to get into some tea. Now, it looks like Kenya has decided to respond to the fans, spectators, and sidewinders. And she said that we will be seeing her soon. Although the blogger that spilled her tea, Michelle, said we won't be. Not only won't we not see her, but allegedly the other girls cannot talk to her. But Kenya's not saying anything like that. Get into this tea. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back, Pooh. Like the video for your homegirl. Share the video with others. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. We have been following the Kenya case for days now. Now, I didn't think it would end up like this. i tell you this. But we have no other choice but to get into this tea. Now, I'm going to start with the, the story that dropped a couple hours ago from page six. Kenya Moore suspended indefinitely from RHOA f after oral poster scandal. Child. This is the alleged poster give people any seats. So I'm glad all of you are here to see. Because I share. And that was Kenya talking at the event. This is the same video we showed a few days ago. This is the young lady. Now we're going to get into the blogger. Now what this video is about is Kenya's response. So the rest of the video is going to be Kenya's response. We're going to hear Ken. And we're going to see what she's saying. And I think through her vibrations, we can tell if she's telling the truth or not. Let's get into their tea. So I know you have heard by now that, that Bravo decided to conduct its own internal investigation. Okay. Y'all remember when I was there and I told y'all how fast everybody left. Cynthia came walking out. Angela came walking out. Uh, Kelly and Britt was the first to walk out. You know, you saw they was upset. Portia and Shamia came walking out. Everybody came walking out and they went on the side of the building and got unmiked and then they was like pretty much saying what a waste of an outfit it was to come up there and for Kenya to show her oh, like, you know, Bravo, it's not gonna do this. Especially in light of all the different allegations going down against a figurehead Andy Cohen, they would never go uh, uh, be on board for, for uh, the revenge, P-O-R-N. Like, who thought of this? Yes, child, an investigation. Who is Angela? Angela Oakley, Charles Oakley's wife, child. Find out. But yes, Kenya is, is suspended indefinitely. And, and the cast, the remaining cast, is not allowed to speak to her. They're not allowed to associate with her. And that's why when I saw her with Dr. Heavenly, I was putting two plus two at four. I was like, oh, she can't talk to the cast no more. She can't talk to Portia. Listen, and you know Candy Cruz is not going to talk to her either, even though Candy Cruz ain't got no peach right now. Candy Cruz trying to stay in their good graces. She can't talk to Portia. She can't talk to nobody. Can, can be, uh, Kenya is essentially banned from the show right now okay they investigated they saw what she actually did and she has been suspended indefinitely team 12 what y'all gonna do what y'all gonna do find out but you thank you for for being a part of building this empire with me. You will be seeing me. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, despite all this stuff that's surrounding um, whatever this, you know, people decide that they want to write. Um, thank you, Vaughn. Kenya's a winner. What up, Doe 313? I love you too. Superwoman, single mom. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes, Drew Sador News, period. Shout out to Drew. You know what? Drew has been amazing. Drew has been so amazing as a friend. You know, I love getting to know her um, through, you know, this platform that I'm on. And when I tell you, Drew is doing her thing. So continue to support Drew. Continue to support all of my sisters in this game. And I just want people to stop uh, trying to tear down another black woman's business. Like, 
it's not that serious. You know, I think that I, I don't bother people unless they bother me. I'm over here trying to feed my family of two. Um, I have a lot of responsibilities and I just don't need people just, you know, going out of their way to, to disparage my, you know, my good name. So, um, so yes. That's that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, we want you to win. Um, I stay winning. You know, it, it is just, it is in my blood. The, everything, you know, success matriculates around me. Um, so I accept that. God has given me that. But I also give back as much as I can, possibly can. So um, I give back to so many charities, so many girls, just in, in my daily life. You know, my ministry, what I do to help other young girls that are going through tough and difficult times. Um, I give back. So thank you. Me, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so after seeing the summary of her live, it's given Kenya didn't spill much tea. Kenya played in people's face. Kenya probably legally cannot speak on it, which makes sense. Um, if what they're saying is true, Kenya probably knew this was a risk, but she made it and think Britney was going to react, and Britney reacted. It's more than a read. That was her personal videos. Y'all comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think that Kenya will be vindicated like she's saying? Do you think she didn't speak on it because she cannot? Or do you think she didn't speak on it because of the guilt factor? Let it be known. She kind of said a little cryptic note in her live. She says she reacted because the girl messed with her. So we going to see when the show will come out if they even include her scenes. Because from what they saying, this girl is getting cut. Y'all comment below. Let me know your thoughts. But stay locked to the channel. Because I will keep you up to date with all the latest tea. And remember this. Do the best you can with what you got. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, Lord have mercy.